Hey, everybody. So let's see who actually shows up. <laughs> so I just got finished um, recording, and I wanted to just pop on and finish off my couple of glasses and just kind of hang out with some of my favorite people. So let's see what we got. <clears throat> this one right here is the Whistle Pig. This will be my video coming out on Friday. So if you are interested or have a bottle, um, either go buy one or save it for Friday. So either way, this is the one I have is 113 proof. It's <clears throat> yep 113.7 proof, and it was made specifically for the Granite State. So I bought it up at the New Hampshire State Liquor Store. Anyway, pretty good stuff. Helps if I make the stream public. There we go. <laughs> All right. So while people filter in, uh, let's just kind of give them a minute. Boy, I'm glad I remembered to do that. I would have felt awful lonely in here. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So it says I've got somebody watching. So hello, somebody. Um, I'm sure you'll be joined by several more people pretty soon. We'll see. I am drinking the Whistle Pig <clears throat> here. Um, I'm just going to give people a couple more minutes to filter in before I really start chatting. So if you are watching this in the future and it's a video on demand, then feel free to skip ahead like a minute or so. All right, let's see what we got. Boy, slow night. I mean, I usually try to do these things on a Saturday, so I guess it's a, to be expected, but is anybody in the chat? Or is it just me that's watching? I'm not sure. I don't do too many of these things, so the interface is a little bit off to me. Oh, there's somebody else. All right, cool. So I finally got some people coming in. <clears throat> so who's who do we have in the chat here tonight? Hmm. Man, Whistle Pig is really good stuff. If you've never had it, it's you're doing it yourself a disservice. A little stuff on it. Yeah. Oh well. Let's see what we got. Man, I'm not used to people taking this long to filter in. I'm not sure how to just fill time to talk to nobody. So I apologize if you're watching this thing in the future. But um, either way, tonight, as I was saying, I just kind of want to chat, do things at a weird time that I don't normally do. It's 1025 where I am at night. And uh, I know some, actually a decent amount of my uh, viewers are over in the UK or Australia. And uh, actually, I've got a decent amount in India, too. They're basically all over the place. Um, so figured doing stuff at a slightly different time, different day, might actually bring in some, some new viewers. So let's see. We got live chat. Everything's going well. Still only a couple people in. Hmm. Who's in the, uh, who's in the, the chat watching right now? Just curious if they're new people. I'm not putting on a very good show if you're new, so... Not, no, not my normal live stream. All right. So anyway, let me talk about uh, Whistle Pig here. So I learned a lot of stuff about Whistle Pig over the last couple days. And I was actually shocked because it's actually a pretty, pretty interesting story. So the, uh, the owner of Whistle Pig, his name is Raj. He was actually on The Apprentice. Um, on the second season and was let go in the ninth week by our wonderful president, Donald Trump. Um, jeez, <laughs> can't even believe that. And, uh, so he did that for a little bit and then he went and, um, he actually wanted to go into politics as well. So maybe it has something to do with the, the apprentice in politics, who knows, but either way, he decided to run for congressman and, um, his whole platform was, 
uh, the Mexican borders are too open. So he, he actually went and got an elephant and a mariachi band and rode the elephant across the border with the mariachi band following behind him. So anyway, I, um, man, it's killing me. Who's in the chat right now? This whole, uh, like, no interaction thing is, is brutal. Let's see what we got. Well, I had assumed there would be a little bit more interest at this time of night. Maybe I, I mean, I didn't give any notice. I'm going to give this, uh, let's see, we're at about six minutes. I'll give it to about ten minutes. If I don't have more than a few people in here, I'll, I'll probably just kill the stream. Um, I don't want to put out boring content either, and so far, that's exactly what this has been. <laughs> so, let's see. Hey, there we go. Swami's in here. What's going on, Swami? You're saving me. <laughs> I'm, like, floundering here. Um, only got a couple people watching so far, so it's a little, little boring for me. But... This is definitely much more of an interactive show than some of the other live streams you may watch. So if you're in the chat, say hi. Just you. No, it's not just you. There's three of you. A whopping three. Yeah. So what are you drinking tonight, Swami? I am uh, finishing up a couple of glasses from the two episodes I just finished. I've got Whistlepig and Booker's, uh, the same one I was drinking the other night when you and I had our, our fun. You'll share. Yeah, thanks. That would I would appreciate that. Uh, we'll give it a few more minutes. So, um, let's see some nice stuff that's going on with the, the channel at the moment. I uh, I'm about to have and may actually have already. Let's see, my first hundred thousand view video. So let, let's see what we're at. When I looked earlier, I was about 40 views away, or maybe a little bit more. Um, yep, 13 more views on my uh, Should You Decant Your Whiskey video, and I will hit 100,000. So that will probably happen tonight. I might even stay up for that. That sounds pretty awesome to me. So we got four people in the chat now, all very quiet people. So how's everybody's week going? It's whis what is it, Whiskey Wednesday? So uh, actually, it's good to know because I was considering doing live streams on, on Wednesdays and knowing that there might not be that many people out there. Um, but anyway, how's your Whiskey Wednesday going? Mine was not great. Um, let's just say there's certain people that I work with that I'm not psyched to be working with, and some of them don't make me super happy to be at work. I'm sure we can all relate, um, but I wanted to kind of veg out. I recorded my episodes, happened to do my two highest proof whiskeys that I have, uh, so maybe that's telling, but we'll see. Uh, all right, so we are at 8.47. we got officially one more minute before I kill this stream, because <laughs> this has been a nightmare. Uh, nightmares. Um, bit much with zero zero warning I've, I've got four people watching so that's not too bad it's just killing me that you guys aren't saying anything I'm actually shocked you're still watching this would probably bore me but hey there we go Tom Tate's in here uh, he hopped in thanks he just sent an invite to who to me or to uh, like via Twitter or what, what are you talking about you're drinking beer. Nice. What kind of beer? What up, Tom? Yeah, so Tom Tate has a podcast as well. He's a, he's a cool guy. He's got this thing. It's um, related to Nintendo Power. Um, it's actually way more, way more uh, I guess, entertaining than it would sound. Um, but in general, he goes through each issue of Nintendo Power and kind of gives a an overall view of what the issue was. So if, once again, if you're a, a retro gamer or just a gamer in general, you might appreciate it. I know, right? Crazy, huh? Yeah, we'll see how it goes. 
That's very, very close. Um, anyway, all right. So I'm going to call this a bit of a bust. Um, I definitely should give a little bit more notice. Just kind of thought it might be fun to hop on at the spur of the moment. Uh, but after, oh, man, now I'm on the fence. Now I'm really on the fence. I got six people watching. Is anybody uh, else coming? Mm, probably not. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Um, next week, I'm on vacation. I think I'm probably going to schedule to do a live stream on Wednesday. I am really actually going to be pushing out a lot of content next week. It just kind of makes sense. Everybody's home. So I've already got one episode recorded for next week. I've got my episode recorded for Friday. Um, probably going to try to do at least two more episodes and then probably a live stream. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but either way, I'm going to... Uh, he does podcast. Hey, what's going on, Six? I was just about to sign off. <laughs> but maybe, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Man, there is so much lag between uh, the live and what's coming in. That's ridiculous. I, I wonder, um, just because it seems to be mostly uh, whiskey fabric people in here at the moment. You guys ever find any way to delay or reduce the delay between the chat and um, the actual stream? Because, man, wait it out. All right. All right. I'll give it another five minutes or so. We'll see. Six, what are you doing on your uh, on your channel this week? So for those of you that don't watch Whiskey in the Six, he's, he's a good guy. He's got the best beard in the business, and uh, he does a lot of reviews. He's actually got some hookups that I'm very jealous of, and uh, because of that, he gets to review some really cool whiskeys. Um, for those of you that don't know Malton in Montreal, that's Swami. He is very good as well. He's very entertaining. Um, I'll, I'll, I probably... I enjoy doing live streams with him actually a lot. Him and I, I think, are very similar um, in a lot of ways and dramatically different in other ways. Uh, so, so I'm waiting on some answers from six here and and uh, let's see the guy. I don't know the guy. It's going all right. Um, are you drinking tonight? I ended up getting an advent calendar from one of my viewers, and uh, I was actually planning on, on going through those, because um, I'm like, you know, what is it today, the 20th, and I'm on day two, so I was very tempted to just kind of plow through like three or four of them, but then Booker's and Whistlepig happened, <laughs> so um, the last thing I want to do is be drinking some Booker's and then trying to, to get any sort of um, specificity of uh, the taste or nose of a whiskey. Kentucky Owl on Friday. Nice. That sounds fun. I don't think I've tried that one. Um, is it new? I don't actually, I don't even think I've heard of that one. Hmm. All right. So there goes the whistle pig. So <laughs> For those of you watching this live stream in the future, I apologize for the repeating of myself, but for those of you that are actually in the, the chat right now, I gotta tell you something about Whistlepig because I thought it was hilarious. So the owner of Whistlepig, he, um, long story short, he was on The Apprentice, got fired, whatever. After he was on The Apprentice, he went to become a congressman and he, he did not end up winning, but part of his whole thing was he wanted to um, prove that the Mexican border was really badly guarded. And so he actually got an elephant, rode the elephant across the border with a six-piece mariachi band <laughs> behind him. And uh, I don't know, it just that struck me as hilarious. It actually made me really excited to film this episode. I was just doing that research last night. So um, let's see. What are you using uh, for to display the chat on screen? Um, so I'm using OBS. Uh, it's actually, it's a really cool software. I updated the chat because people were telling me it was a little too small. And, um, I mean, nobody really needs to see my face. It's not that important, but seeing the chat when you're watching, a uh, watching this later is nice. So, especially if you don't have to squint. Very Italian. <laughs> Been drinking lemon cello. Interesting. Hmm. 
Anyway, all right, so on to boogers. <laughs> so uh, those of you that may not have caught my shameful display the other night when I busted out the bookers and drank a lot of it, um, quite a bit in one night, that's minus this one little dram here. So um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Ended up on uh, Malted Montreal's live stream. And uh, thanks again for having me, Swami. And it was really, really fun. So fun, in fact, that he had to delete it. <laughs> so I don't even necessarily blame him. Um, you know, I wouldn't necessarily want to look as bad as I'm sure I did. So I uh, should probably be thanking him, honestly. But I don't know that I've actually ever had limoncello. But we'll see. What's your opinion of Evan Williams bourbon? Um, you loved it with a splash of water. So that's interesting. So Evan Williams, for me, was what I bought when I, when I was living on my own. I used to buy Jack Daniels all the time, and I would just make a Jack and Coke. It was back when I was playing World of Warcraft, actually, and I would play for way too much time, um, and I would drink, like, two or three Jack and Cokes. I would get hammered, and then I would... Well, not hammered. I would get drunk, and then I would um, proceed to just annoy my guildmates through the chat. So... Uh, when I stopped being able to afford uh, Jack Daniels, I started buying Evan Williams. I will say Evan Williams was one of the first whiskeys to ever give me a hangover, and that kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. Um, I, uh, I would drink the exact same amount as Jack Daniels, but it hit me differently, you know? It, it kind of made me realize that there's some, some truth to that whole different alcohol that hits you different ways. So I do kind of want to try Evan Williams again on the channel, and actually I've got a ton a ton of requests for that. So it's something I should probably do this year. But um, either way, I it tastes fine. Um, I liked it as a mixer. I don't even know that I ever tried it straight. So now that I've got more of a taste for this stuff, I, maybe I will, and maybe I'll like it more. Mm -hmm. What's your, all right. Man, that is so good. This is, this is such a good Booker's. If you haven't had this one, this is so good. Well, I'm glad. We're getting people filtering in. Um, so I did put a cap on this for myself at a half hour because it's 10.39 p.m. and I haven't had dinner yet. Um, but I definitely wanted to uh, just kind of... After I film my episodes, I almost always have, you know, most of a, of a dram left. Actually, I would call that almost like a dram and a half. I almost always have some whiskey left. I usually go sit on the couch behind me watch something on TV, finish off my drinks, and then go up to bed. And uh, I happened to finish my two episodes that I recorded tonight very, very fast. So I had plenty of time, and I thought that I would grace you all with my presence. <laughs> um, so anyway, it's, uh, let's see, we're about 18 minutes into it. You know, I'm not going to put a real time on it. I'm going to stop at 11 o'clock. So it's 1040 right now. So that gives me another 20 minutes. So that, that there'll be like a 40 minute live stream. That's totally fine on the spur of a moment. And uh, seeing more people filtering in is encouraging me to keep going. So um, let's see. Are oh, you playing some WoW and sipping on bourbon? Has a fantastic honey and vanilla taste. Um, so you're drinking Evan Williams, I'm guessing. All right. Aberfedley. I have not tried Aberfedley. Did you spell that right? I've, I don't even know that I've heard of that. I review a lot, so I only drink hard stuff when I'm reviewing for the most part. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway. Um, so, uh, let's see. What else is going on? Well, Christmas is coming. Hopefully all of you have finished your shopping. I just finished the last of mine today. And uh, so my, my niece, right? So I'm getting her a bunch of money, essentially. But... Didn't want to just give her cash, so I'm uh, putting. I bought. Up, I got a whole bunch of dollar bills, and I'm gonna just like crumple them up, kind of like packing peanuts. Throw them in a box with a couple of actual like cheapo gifts, you know, like whatever, and then um, do that. But I'm interested to know if any of you are doing anything very cool for your, uh, let's say, your spouses or whatever. They're not gonna watch the stream anyway. So, um, did anybody get anything cool for Christmas or get themselves anything cool for Christmas? Um, actually, that some of you that are on the strip. Wow, holy crap. Uh, all right, so I just went from 9 to 14. So it seems like people are starting to get their... Uh, seems like some people are starting to get their, um, their alerts. Anyway, so 
um, I am getting a new computer for Christmas, which is really good for all of you, hopefully, because it means I can edit faster, I can do more live streams, I'm planning on having a lot of guests. In fact, I have promised uh, Malted in Montreal that he is going to be my first guest. I've actually um, I've connected with a couple of other people, one ambassador and one co-owner of a distillery, and I'm going to have them on in the new year as well. So some of you may have seen my Glendalock episode the other night, I, uh, or live stream. Um, so I spoke with the uh, one of the co-owners of Glendalock, and he told me that he would really like to be on the show. So we think we might do something around St. Patrick's Day. Um, Malted in Montreal will be my first guest somewhere in January. I'm not sure when. i got to figure out my software and stuff, figure out my new computer, and figure out how to make that all work. But I'm looking forward to that a lot. Um, in general, uh, I'm, I was planning on doing this with probably my first episode of the January, but I'll just talk a little bit about kind of what I want to do next year. Because I'm drinking and talking. <laughs> so I would like to make Wednesday be my day to do my live streams. I typically... I don't know if I'm going to do Wednesday or if I'm going to do some sometime on Saturday, but I'm going to aim for Wednesday because right now nobody else streams on, on Wednesday in the whiskey community. I think it would be fun. Um, anyway, so I want to do more streams. I would like to do at least like one stream a month. Um, realistically, I'd like to, I mean, idealistically, I would like to do it more frequently than that, but I have kids, I have a wife, and I have a very, very demanding job. Um, so if I could just say like, you know, the third Wednesday of every month I am going to be doing a live stream, I think that might also be enough. And it could be something I could look forward to and so could you. So that might be how I start. I mean, I did the same thing with my reviews. I used to only do one a month. Uh, now I do one a week and it's because it was successful and I got motivated by that. So we'll see. Either way, I'll, I'm going to make up my mind on that and figure out how I can make that work and then probably come tell you all. Um, so outside of that, I do want to have a lot more live streams. I want to do the same thing I've been doing with the one a week. I don't really want to go beyond that. I don't think I could deliver the same quality that I have been doing um, with the, all the editing and everything more than one a week. And frankly, like this already takes up a ton of my time, which I'm totally happy to do. But doing two a week, I think I would get stressed out and might not even want to do it anymore. So we'll see. All right. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Drinking eggnog with uh, Zacapa rum. I don't think I've ever heard of that either. We booked a Disney trip. Nice, nice. That's a good Christmas present for sure. Um, oh, you got yourself a drone. Hell yeah, Eric. Nice. You got a custom firearm, OJ? Nice. What kind of uh, what kind of gun? Is it a uh, handgun? Uh, handgun. Yeah, handgun. Is it a handgun or a rifle? I have a rifle in my basement as well, although that's also, it's more of a collector's item than anything. It's a deer rifle from Winchester. Um, 1985, maybe? So, cool story about that. My uh, my grandfather, who passed away a few years ago, he, when I was born, so I'm 34 now, so I was born in 1983. When I was born, he bought this rifle. And he told me, or he told himself, he would give it to me on either my 18th or my 21st birthday, depending on my maturity and or my interest in sport um, of shooting. Uh, he ended up giving it to me on my 21st, and I did have an interest in shooting, although more along archery. Um, I'm uh, much, much better at archery than I am at most other uh, sports. I, um, I'm a licensed archery instructor, actually, which is a weird fact I didn't think would ever come out on this uh, live stream. Anyway, so he gave me the gun um, on my 21st birthday and told me he's been hanging on to it for 21 years or whatever, but in order to get it, I had to go get my FID card and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I have this cool collector's item from my now deceased grandfather, which is like an heirloom, you know, and it would actually be pretty cool to pass it along to one of my kids, too. So, yeah, let's see what else we've got. Um, also, Eric, I'm curious what you're planning on doing with that drone, other than just kind of tooling around. Do you have any actual, like, plans? Like, um, I don't know, business-related or just fun-related? Um, let's see, bought a Makers 46 gift set with glasses and was just watching your video on it. Oh, cool! That's great. What'd you think, uh, Real Clay? Did you like the video? And, uh, I'm guessing that you haven't tried the, the Makers 46 yet. It's funny, I actually had somebody just a couple of days ago telling me that they bought the 46 based on my recommendation as well. Um, oh, uh, Swami, you got a really nice gift there yourself. Now, um, I did ask what you got other people, so uh, I'm a little 
skeptical about what you said there, but you know, that's fine. Teach their own. <laughs> Didn't get a notification, but just noticed you live in subspeed. So, for those of you that did not get notifications, shame on you for not clicking that little bell next to the subscribe button. So go do that now, because if I do more live streams, it'll uh, it'll show up for you. Um, brand new dress for the show. <laughs> I'm on vacation December 23rd to January 2nd. That's a nice vacation. Definitely need more subscribers. Your content is high quality, and your reviews definitely make more inter uh, make more interested in branching out and trying different whiskeys. Thanks. Um, I completely agree with you that I need more subscribers. I need a million subscribers. I really, really, really want that that uh, gold. Actually, at a million, yeah, because at a hundred thousand you get the silver play button. At a million you get the gold play button, and then at ten million I think you actually get like some sort of platinum play button. I just want an a play button. I want to hit that hundred thousand. So Ralphie, he's at like ninety five, ninety six thousand or so. I want to beat him someday. That's my goal, um, and I think I can get there. I really do, actually. I think my guess is that he's got so many subscribers because he's just been around for so long that he's got subscribers who are no longer even use YouTube anymore. But either way, I, uh, I know I'm only at 6,300 or so at the moment, but I will absolutely be hitting 10K probably by April, which should open me up to a lot more opportunity. Actually, YouTube has some cool stuff. Um, I'll go into that in a sec. I want to I just read the chat. Um, all right. So, hey, Bolivia. That's cool. Hi, Bolivia. Um, ah, Beretta. Nice. Ooh, that's nice, OJ. Hey, OJ, do me a favor. When you get the gun and when you've uh, unwrapped it and everything and, and checking it out, send me a picture. Send an email over to thewhiskeydick at gmail.com. I really, really want to see that gun. That looks awesome. Um, let's see. I'm doing wine country videos, vineyard flyovers. I had a feeling you were going to do that, Eric. Um, I actually occasionally look for flyover videos of distilleries for some of my videos. You'll know that sometimes I throw random B-roll footage. A lot of times I get it from the distiller, sometimes I don't. So, um, drones are nice for that. The bell is clicked, thanks. <laughs> oh, you still didn't get a notification? Well then, fuck YouTube. All right, Eric, what's your favorite wine under 25 bucks? I don't know. Just wanna hit a thousand. So I mean, you'll hit a thousand, don't worry, dude. All right, so, <clears throat> all right, I need to talk less and, and do this more. So I was starting to tell you, so YouTube has these cool perks that you get when you hit 10,000 subscribers. They have these offices, essentially, that you can use. Most of them are in, they're in, like, every major city. And um, so I'll probably check that out at some point. I think it would be pretty cool. They have, you know, kind of built-in lighting so you can really fiddle with it. Um, but in general, it's just a, a space to do your videos. And uh, even though I really don't need it, I mean, I, I've been very fortunate to have a nice house and a nice area to do all of this. So I don't really need the space, but I think it would just be fun to ex use that perk, you know. Um, <laughs> I hope I do, Swami. I really do. Uh, anyway. So, um, I'm curious, did anybody get their wife anything cool this year? So, I got my wife some cool stuff too, and I'm pretty sure she's sleeping upstairs, but I'm not going to say it out loud just because I don't want her to chance hearing it. Um, however, I did give her one of her Christmas presents earlier. I, uh, early, I had one of, my, uh, one of my kids give it to her. Um, just a pair of slippers, but they're like something that apparently she's wanted for like six or seven years. But normally they're like they're they're UGG slippers, right? So normally they're like a hundred bucks, and they were on sale for like forty. So we picked them up, and then I had my kids give it to her just as an early Christmas present, and she is very very happy about them. So, um, let's see. Hmm. I'm going to pop this chat back in, actually, because I... Anybody who doesn't do any sort of um, YouTube stuff, it's actually... Uh, they've got a really cool interface for most of their tools. Their live streaming is actually very, very impressive. So I'm a, I'm a software engineer myself, and I couldn't even begin to 
begin to think of how to develop half of YouTube. Some of it I could, but most of it not. Um, for example, like just integrating streaming with live chat with analytics and everything, it's, it's insanity. Um, it's very, very cool to be a YouTube creator. It really is. It's, it's interesting, if nothing else. So let's see what else I got here. Um, I'm going to tell Twitter that I'm streaming. All right. Ever use a Norlin glass? I did, and I think that they are very cool. You will see a lot of people tell you that they're just overrated, and I, I also agree with that. Um, so a Norlin glass, for those of you that don't know, looks very similar to this, except it has a slightly larger glass on the outside of it. And the idea is that if you're holding this thing, your stupid hand isn't warming up your whiskey. Um, they look really neat. My only complaint about them, and I don't think I have a great way to show this. Um, all right, let me see if I can do this without spilling anything. All right, so there's my whiskey glass, right? So picture this from the top. The Norlin glass is almost like a pentagon around it. No, well, I spilled one drop on my hand. Um, it's like a pentagon around the thing. So I feel like a hexagon would have been the right way to go, at least to make it look nicer. And when you're holding it, it feels a little bit weird. Um, but overall, the Norlin glasses look pretty cool. Um, let's see. Got my wife's sapphire earrings. Very cool. My parents just traveled to Florida and brought me a bottle of Knob Creek based on your recommendation. We don't get many bourbons here in Bolivia, so I'm pretty excited about it. Dude, you are going to be psyched with the Knob Creek. Um, I'm glad that they got you that one. <laughs> she probably got me whiskey. <laughs> well, I have every expectation my, my dad's going to get me whiskey too, which, uh, dad, if you happen to be watching this later, I uh, would be very happy to receive some whiskey. Um, I like the Glen Karen for examining and reviewing whiskey, but not casual drinking. You know, it's funny. I've taken to, I do, I use two glasses. I use, I actually use those Taylor, tailored glasses that I did the review on a little while ago um, when I'm drinking bourbons, usually. Uh, the only reason I have this in a Glen Karen is because I just filmed my episode on it. But um, in general, I actually really like, I like drinking out of the Glen Karens, even if it's casual. So... I would totally try Aquavitae's, uh, Aquavitae's blind taste test. Um, I would fail miserably at it, but I would totally do it. Um, yeah, so those of you that don't know Aquavitae, he's, uh, he's a pretty good guy, actually. He's, he's a really nice guy. Um, me and a few of the other guys from... like I'm not going to call us Whiskey Fabric, because we're not Whiskey Fabric. That's, that was already taken. I, I like to call us Whiskey Tubers. Um, you know, you've got beer tube, we've got whiskey tube. So anyway, if you want to think of it, there's, there's a lot of us actually at this point. So I'd forget some people, but, um, whatever uh, there's you know, whiskey in the six, scotch for dummies, scotch test dummies, malted in Montreal, um, aqua vitae. You've got no nonsense whiskey. You've got, well, I'm not going to say the, the ones that you kicked off uh, that didn't do well on your show the other day there, Swami. Um, who else am I missing? Who are the obvious people I'm missing? We got, hold on, I'm going to be annoying and look at my phone because I actually want to give some people some credit. I also sp suspect that most of you already watch these other people, but just to make sure, um, we all like to give each other shout outs on our live streams. It's kind of a thing we do. Uh, the Malted Man Cave, that's who I was thinking of. And then Mark's Whiskey Whistle. He's, he's good as well. Trenny and C, No Nonsense Whiskey. Jason Whiskey Wise. Yeah, that's about it. Um, so anyway, if any of those aren't people that you're sub to, check them out. Um, let's see. Spay glass for casual drinking. Just a cool bunch of dudes. <laughs> Agree with you that there, OJ. And uh, thanks for the patronage, OJ. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. All right. Man, this is so good. I can't even believe how good Booker's did with this particular version. It makes me really excited to try the O3. I hope it can live up to it. Um, I would be very disheartened if this was like the best Booker's that they ever made because it's 
Only the third I've done in that Booker's Batches series. So. You got a good point there, Eric. You know what's funny? I was thinking um, before I even knew that there was like this community on YouTube. So one of the things, and I keep bringing it back to this just because it's one of my other passions, but like so video game um, YouTubers, they tend to have these little networks that they do. And uh, when I started this channel, my thought was like, hey, if I ever get huge, it would be fun to start a network where I find basically my own equivalent uh, in rum, in wine, in you know, um, let's say like brandy and then cognac and whatever else. It would just be fun to kind of have that group. Um, still not against it, but hey, Scotch for dummies, what's going on? I just gave you a shout out about two minutes ago. Hmm. Let's see. Had to grab some Stag Junior and add limestone water. Where did you get limestone water? I'm actually curious because that would be fun to fun to buy and try and see if there's any any real benefit to it. Which bookers did you try, Eric? How long ago? You know what I learned? So, as I mentioned, I, I did a whiskey. I'm uh, sorry, whistle pig episode tonight. So I'm going to hold this up here and hope that you all can see it. So you see that little pig on the front there? That is their mascot, obviously. And the entire point of that is that they had a pig. I forget his name. I don't think it was Mortimer, but it was something very close to that. And uh, apparently the pig um, was defending his mate um, against some sort of animal that was attacking it. And he successfully defended her, but died in the act. So he then became their mascot. So, you know what I just realized? What is the name of this stream? Does it have a name? The Whiskey Dick Live Test. Oh, fantastic. All right, I'm going to rename that right now. Uh, drinking and talking. I don't even think I can save that at this point. Crap, I didn't even realize it's gonna be called Test. Oh well, I'll have to rename that later. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> Merry Christmas, NGP. Uh, old limestone bourbon water website. Okay. Actually found your channel from a Ralphie video. Really? Ralphie suggested me, huh? I would love to know which, which video the guy, cause I would love to go watch it. I actually, I mean, he puts out so many videos I can't keep up, so I don't watch them. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to totally wait for an answer there. Cause I would love to know. Last year I visited Kentucky the week following Christmas. I don't remember which bottle it was sampled as it was. All right, that's fine. It was a dispenser. Man, talk about things I don't need in my house. A dispenser of bookers. <laughs> oh, there's people I work with that would disagree with me, though. I think I probably wouldn't get away from them. John. Okay, cool. The Whiskey Dick Live Drinking and Talking. That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted it to say. <coughs> Thank you, Was. I'm now a little bit less annoyed about it. All right, so I'm coming up on that 40 minute mark. And like I said, it's 11 p.m. here. I haven't had dinner yet. Um, I don't want to go too, too far. Whiskey Dick STD test. Okay. Oh, I piped up in the suggested videos. All right, well, that's fine. Um, you know, I wouldn't mind getting a, a suggestion of people to check me out from Ralphie, but I also don't think that's something he normally does. So that would have been surprising. Um, I like to feel like, I'm a little bit more, <laughs> eh, sorry, I like to feel like um, us whiskey tubers are a little bit more in tune with each other, a little bit more uh, supportive of each other. So then again, I'm not the, the number one in the niche. So who knows? Anyway, all right, so I'm hitting that 40 minute mark. Um, I know I've got a lot of people watching, but personally I'm fading and I got to wake up early for work tomorrow. So um Thank you all for popping in. So uh, last minute, eh, screw it. I, I'm being dumb. I will finish my drink before I sign off. So I will just make a more of an effort to drink it faster. So tonight I recorded uh, Whistle Pig and I recorded Booker's 2017-02 for my Booker's Batches series. I am not sure what I'm gonna do for my next one, but for those of you that are just tuning in or haven't been in the whole time, 
my intent is to potentially release four episodes next week um, with a fallback to three episodes and one live stream and an ultimate fallback to just two episodes. But I, I really think I'll probably be at four episodes. I don't see any reason I wouldn't record that many. Um, I already have one recorded, so I might as well, right? So, um, all right, I'm going to just down this and then go have some food. So, cheers, everybody. Mm. That sucked. <laughs> that was too much at once. All right. <coughs> have an excellent rest of your night. Thank you for joining me here on the Whiskey Dictionary. And I hope to see you all uh, watching my video on Friday. I promise you that this will be an entertaining video. Um, there may be some headgear. <laughs> so I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye. And for that 17th person that just signed in, sorry you missed the stream.